So what's up guys, I'm back and Apple pushed out iOS 11.0.3. It mostly fixes iPhone 6s and 7 problems, but it should also fix the iPhone 8's battery. So should you install it or not? Now first of all, it's a very small update, only 280 megabits on the iPhone 7. Now keep in mind, it improves on two major things, that is the Touch ID sensor of the iPhone 6s, which did not work like if you got it replaced or something and it ended up not working due to iOS 11's barriers. Now it will work. Also the Touch ID sensor and the taptic feedback on the iPhone 7 and the 7 Plus that was not working will start to work again as they updated that too. Now as I said it's a small update, nothing new and if you remember in iOS 11.1 beta 2 we got new emojis so maybe they'll be pushing out those emojis in this version, we don't know. So as you can read right here. There are just two major points. Now, as I said, the iPhone 8 and 8 Plus battery was not really great with the iOS 11.0.2. So Apple will definitely try to improve on that because the iPhone 8 Plus is actually splitting around the world and that's a, a major problem. Now, keeping in mind, should you update or not? Because that's a big reason because the jailbreak is just around the corner for iOS 11. Maybe we'll see it in a month or two because the iOS 10 development is almost done. So I suppose if you own an iPhone 8 or 8 Plus, you should actually update because this update will improve your battery and if you own any older device and you're willing to jailbreak, you should wait. Now installation process is pretty simple. Go to settings, general, software update, about, wait for a while and you'll get the update. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope it helped you a lot. Do subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon to never miss an iOS 11 or iPhone 10 or 8 video. Do give a thumbs up and do leave a comment down below if you're willing to update or not. Until then, please like, comment, subscribe. Peace.